everyone. This is your girl Jennifer Dorn, your agent for the people, and I'm back with this week's episode of Friday Facts. I want to talk to the home buyers. So today I would like to talk to you about moving through the process and getting to closing day. So let's just imagine that you've already ratified your contract, you've gone through your home inspection, you've been working closely with the title company, your loan officer, making sure that all the required documentation and everything has been provided and now we are close to settlement day so we're about within a week or so from settlement and this is the time ideally seven days or within seven days prior to settlement you want to do your home inspection of your new home this is the opportunity for you to walk through the house to make sure everything is according to the sales contract for example when you had that home inspection if there were any home inspection repair items now is the time to make sure sure that all those items have been addressed so you walk through the house room by room checking the appliances turning on light switches and again making sure that all the repair items now if there aren't if there are some that haven't been addressed your realtors will work together to make sure that all those items are taken care of prior to settlement now keep in mind this is an opportunity for you to go through make sure everything is according to the contract it's not an opportunity for you to come up with some new demands okay great so as we move forward to settlement by now you should have already transferred your utilities your water your sewage your gas your electric and even your cable because there can be nothing worse than getting the keys to your, your new home and heading right on over there all excited only to find out that there is no electricity no water it's hot or it's cold depending on the time of year and spending the night in your new home won't be fun so be sure to have those utilities transferred in advance because the seller will have already transferred them to be canceled on the day of settlement so you want to make sure that you have the utilities transferred on the day of settlement cool so the next step is settlement day so one of the things I like to recommend is make sure either the night before that you create a checklist of things that you want to bring with you to settlement. So to give you an idea of what to add, you want to make sure you have a government issued ID, your driver's license, a passport, your military ID, something like that will certainly work. Make sure it is an unexpired government ID. You also want to have your certified funds with you. So your lender will have told you exactly what you need to bring to settlement, how much money you need to close, what your closing costs are that are required from you to bring to settlement. So you want to get that check in advance, maybe the day before or a couple days ahead of time, as soon as your lender has given you the exact number that you need to get in certified funds. Now keep in mind, if you are going to wire transfer those funds, you want to coordinate with your title company no less than 24 hours before settlement so that you can arrange to have those funds transferred securely to your title company. Now let's just assume again that you've gotten everything in order. We're, re we're the day before, a few days ahead of settlement. The lender will provide you with what your CD or your closing disclosure. Now what this is is a five page form with all the numbers and information that they provided you initially um, to compare with the numbers to close with for example your closing costs all the fees that are required so this you can go you can compare now this has to be provided with you the closing disclosure has to be provided to you at least three days before settlement so this three-day window allows you to go through again compare those those estimates that you were originally given by your loan officer to the new numbers and to also address any questions you have with your lender so now we are here at settlement day yay you guys have made it so you get to the settlement table your your attorney or the title the closer will be there to provide you with the documents that you and the seller will sign for example you'll go through your alta which is your 
um, settlement statement and it'll go through all the funds, the disbursement and monies to be collected, whether it be collected from you or from the seller. You each will sign. You'll sign, of course, that important deed, uh, a deed of trust if you're in Virginia and any other monies, your, uh, your promissory note, any other forms, I mean, uh, along with all the other documents that help you purchase that new home. Once that's done, guys, and everyone has signed, congratulations, you get the keys to your new home. Once again, congratulations. Hey, listen, I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the comment section. Feel free to message me, send me an email, visit the website, www.agentnumber4thepeople.com and also visit our YouTube channel, our social media channels, Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like content like this, please let us know. We want to make sure that we're bringing you valuable information to help you through this whole process. Take care, my friends, until the next week's episode.